Family, we got some exclusive audio recordings that incriminate P. Diddy. Now, my dad had just told me this earlier this morning. He's like, yo, people are saying that P. Diddy's not going to go to jail. He's not going to get arrested. And I was like, yeah, most likely. Like, he's probably not, nothing's going to happen to him just because he's connected with the elites. But at the end of the day, we still have to see how this entire thing plays out because there is a lot of evidence that has been dropping and some no longer allegations, but some hardcore evidence. Like the video that happened of him going crazy on Cassie in that hotel. And now we're going to be hearing some audio recordings also. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Don't be that person that clicks on my videos and watches multiple times, but then never hits that subscribe button. Come on, don't be that person. Let's get straight into this. I tell you what, puppy. Your life is in danger. Because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participate in? So, you know they're gonna get you if they can. The audio recordings of Suge Knight warning Diddy Wait. about how bad. Who's involved in that? But I tell you what, puppy. Your life is in danger. Because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participate in? So, you know they're gonna get you if they can. The audio recordings of Suge Knight warning Diddy about how bad it is in prison confirms that Puffy was up to, up to no good. Diddy's former bodyguard tonight, alleging that Diddy was working for the FBI as a confidential informant. People don't realize this, brother. Ex bodyguard claims Diddy was an FBI informant. First and foremost, Puff has been dodging the legal system for years. Puff being, um, and this is documented, Puff being a CI for an FBI agent. They was taking some papers up to the, to the uh, uh, FBI, so like when they was here in New York. They was taking paperwork up there and stuff like that. Don't know what it was. But later on, found out that he was a CI. What's a CI? Now, Primetime can't confirm this, but if Diddy was an FBI informant, it explains why he was giving a pass to wreak havoc, according to his producer's lawsuit. What Diddy wanted, Diddy got. All while he was cozying up to Hollywood figures like Harvey Weinstein and becoming a major voice in the Democratic Party with his voter die campaigns for Kerry, Barack, Hillary, Biden getting souls to the polls for two decades that he thought he was untouchable. But now he's had his house raided, tapes confiscated, and the feds are zeroing in on his flight records. Diddy's world's crumbling. The rap industry's warning him that his clock's ticking. Infamous death row executive Suj Knight, serving time for a fatal hit and run, is warning the brother love handle won't fly in prison. I tell you what, Puffy. Your life is in danger. Because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participating in? Mm. So, you know they're going to get you if they can. Suge Knight serves as an important witness incriminating Diddles. I think, I think Jones. he's also saying just the fact that he knows all the other influential politicians and celebrities that go to that little freaky room he be doing he's getting raided bro has an audio recording of That'll christian combs here's the transcript christian said yo it's shot o'clock plaintiff said no i'm not doing shots christian christian combs said everybody we got to take a shot i'll just put the leg christian combs no 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 take the whole thing no you will take it as well Take the whole shot. This is so forceful. I'm only doing it as long as you take it as well. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not taking nothing. Please, please take the shot. You you are drugging me? Take the shot. Hey, yo, play another beat one time because now, and then Cassie starts to play the song, Me and You. This is not an offer. You said what? 
I can't. I'm, I'm swapping out. I can't do it. I'm sorry, darling. No, we need you. I'm going to stop. Stop. I have to go. I have to go. I CNN wow. national correspondent Camila Bernal. So now there's even lawsuits against his son drugging people, forcing people to take shots, which is not surprising. He's going to learn from the best, which is Diddy. Joining That's me live crazy. with details on this, Camila, what more are you learning? Hey, Fred, so in this audio that CNN has listened to... It says, to audio recording emerges in lawsuit against Sean Diddy and Sean Diddy Combs and his son now. You can specifically hear the accuser who alleges that she was being forced to take this tequila shot that she believed was laced drugs. And in the audio, you can hear her asking Christian Combs if she was being drugged. And he answers, take the shot. I need to now, hear this just to put audio. things into perspective, the accuser was a crew member on the yacht. She was a bartender. And she says that shortly after this incident with the shot, um, she says she was cornered in a room. She says things became aggressive and physical and then says that Christian Combs forced himself on her and then says that it wasn't until another employee on the yacht came into this room that the abuse that she is alleging in alleging in this 31 page lawsuit stopped and she says it only stopped because that person came into the room now i want to read part of wow. what the accuser's attorney is saying right now what he's saying is defendant sean combs turned what was sold as a wholesome family excursion into a hedonistic environment it resulted in an unexpected increase in work hedonistic is also like hed hedonism hedonism basically it's just the practice of indulging in every pleasure you could possibly indulge in. And the thing about that philosophy or way of living is just the fact that you can never you can never satisfy the flesh. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna want money, you're gonna want money as much money as you can get. That's greed. If you're gonna want food, you're gonna want as as much good food as you can get. That's gluttony and then also like, you know, sexual pleasures and it goes on. So that's the excursion that they were Glowed for her and for her colleagues, as well as unwanted exposure to unlawful use, work, and general chaos. Now, why are they naming Diddy in all of this? And it is partially because he was leasing that yacht. Now, he is not accused of but he is accused in this lawsuit of liability and aiding and abetting because he was the one renting the yacht. Um, now, his attorney, or actually the attorney for both men, also speaking out and denying these allegations, saying this, this complaint is filled with manufactured lies and irrelevant facts. We will be filing a motion to dismiss Bro, this they're always saying that. claim. Um, again, they have continued to say that this is something that they will fight, that they are innocent in all of this so we'll have to wait and see um, how this plays out in court if it gets and that's not the only audio recording that's going to take him down now there's also the one incriminating his son that serves as a testament to the whole family's character And let's not forget the field day lawyers Wait, are gonna what have video is that? Diddy's old videos where he blatantly exposes himself. We uh, we um uh, we want to thank you, come here. Don't don't sit on the bed or not. No homo. No, just just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close. But it's just like yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. Man, you, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. You did. No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna. If we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed at all. I, sh I should look like he Bro, they were, they were trying too hard not to seem homo, that it just makes them seem homo, I'm not gonna lie. Because, like, if you just two straight dudes, I mean, like, it, it, it could be regular, like, if y'all in... <laughs> Say y'all playing video games, you know what I'm saying? Sit on the bed, boom, boom, regular stuff. Like, it's just regular, bro. Off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. 
I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted Tennis. flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before force was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the all for the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early. Now he's one of the richest stars <laughs> yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the frosted flakes and we're streaming live. That was stupid. That was fucking stupid. Listen. Nah, Kevin, bro. It don't really matter if Kevin Hart get in the butt. He's still funny at the end of the day. He said, and we're streaming live. That was just stupid. Nah, he literally made no sense, bro. I just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And we're streaming live. That was stupid. That was fucking stupid. Listen, hey, yo. The stuff may have been okay years ago, but it ain't gonna fly in 2024. Yeah. Yo, what's up, King Sun? already seen this one, bro. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Now, there's been so much evidence of Diddy's sexuality floating around the internet, and ain't nobody picked up on it yet. 50 Cent tried to warn us about P. Diddy in this interview. I'm trying to tell you the truth, but the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit, but right. I'm trying to tell you, like, yo, it's like, yo, so, yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out. You gotta oh, kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it and shit, and he's like, right. yo, why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it, and I was like, what the f*** this n***a <laughs> <laughs> I got the f*** away from him, because I was like, this n***a. <laughs> this is telling me he's taking me shopping. <laughs> see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there. I'm just sitting out there for no reason. Yo, if you don't see accident pictures, you'll be like kissing. Yeah, like that doesn't happen by accident. And now Candace Owens is claiming that Diddy was linked to the passing of Michael Jackson because of this guy right here who is the head of Diddy's security no team. Way. And he would tell his staff that if they ever got pulled over by the police to call him if they were in Miami or California. And if you read right under that, Diddy made it Mr. Combs always kind of Mr. Combs made it clear that his head of security had the power to make people and problems disappear. Clear that his head of security had the power to make people and problems disappear. Now, how does this link Diddy to Michael Jackson? Well, Muhammad had been working for him for a very long time as the head of his security team. And at the age of 21 years old, Muhammad was a part of Michael Jackson's security team. And he was the first person on scene right after Michael Jackson passed. Diddy's lawyers made a statement yesterday saying that there was a gross use of military force when raiding his houses thought, and that yeah. he will not be detained. He's actually innocent and now I'm just I'm right now I'm looking for the audio of of Christian Combs forcing that girl to take a shot because we need to hear that audio. He's gonna continue to fight to clear his name. So why is all of this happening? Last week we had Dan Schneider, now we're getting Pete Diddy. Are we gonna get someone new next week? What are your thoughts? Did he better watch out for all the people who've had a bone to pick with him all these years? Jones lived and traveled with Diddy for 13 months. The complaint states, Mr. Jones was sent by Mr. Combs. It also states, Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to solicit sex workers. The complaint goes on to claim, Diddy has hidden cameras in every room. All right, real quick, real quick, real quick. Let's see what's in this video. Christian Combs, son of rapper, producer, and businessman Sean, the 31 by Sean, the lawsuit said, All right. It seems, as if, it seems as if only the transcript of the audio has been leaked in the lawsuit. of his homes. And that there are recordings of... But, hey, I, a lot of things have been leaking. I'm waiting for that audio to leak. No cap. The actual celebrities, real audio. music label executives, politicians, and athletes in compromising positions. The number of celebrities who come up in this lawsuit, who, according to this plaintiff, were involved in or have information about uh, some of this really uh, salacious and allegedly criminal conduct on the part of Sean Combs. The lawsuit refers to Diddy's chief of staff as Ghislaine Maxwell, who was found guilty of recruiting under...
referrals for Jeffrey Epstein. Seen these cases before with high powered, uh, affluent uh, individuals. But again, at this point, these are allegations, and perhaps we will see this matter move from civil to criminal. Earlier this year, Diddy's former longtime romantic partner, Cassie Ventura, accused him of yeah. after Diddy settled that case, other women filed similar lawsuits. Diddy posted his enough is enough statement on Instagram. Yeah, we already seen, seen all that, but this is Prince Harry named in Diddy's trafficking lawsuit. I'll be honest with y'all, I believe it. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Like, there's been a lot of stuff going around when it comes to Prince Harry and the royal family. I'm actually gonna look into that a little bit deeper, honestly speaking. But would not be surprised about that at all. But honestly, just Christian Combs having that transcript of the audio getting leaked in that lawsuit. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy how often it happens that people aren't aware of. Like, I was unaware of how often this really happened. But this is really just bringing it to light. How dudes really be fiending for some, for some coochie? Like, bro, like, bro, like, come on, it's not that serious. Chill out, enjoy yourself on the yacht. <laughs> like, just, bro, let everyone have just a good time. If she want you, she wants you. Do what you need to do. But forcing it is just—he's learning from his pops. He's just learning from his dad, bro. Go smash that like button. Subscribe since you watched this point of video. Turn on post notifications. Also, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.